शहर चेना डाक्तपाड़ार भीड़ छड़िए एक दूरे गड़े उठे एक प्रतिष्ठान जार नाम विश्वास बेंगल फेथ हस्पिटल गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी वेलकम टू हर बेंगल फेथ हस्पिटल कंटिन्यूंग मेडिकल एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम टूडे वी आर गोईंग टू अपडेट आर सेल इन द डिपार्टमेंट अफ न्यूरो सर्जरी न्यूरोलॉजी एंड आर्थोपेडिक्स डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर Right now, I am planning to discuss about a case study, which is a long spine. In the month of January, at our Bengal Medical Hospital, we received a patient. The patient presented with complaints of neck pain, which was slow, progressive in nature, followed by left upper limb weakness. And the patient neglected. Later, they made this referral at the local areas, and then the patient gradually developed walking pain and then stiffness of the knees. The patient became more difficult. Our team went for examination, and then we got the examination and the surveillance. So we got an MRI. Extending from the cranial vertebral junction up to the C7 level, and the tumor is mostly anteriorly placed. The spinal cord is present behind the tumor. Of course, it is a very challenging case because, in my experience, I did such kind of surgeries, say three segment, four segment, and maximum up to five segment level. and now it comes a challenge here it is seven segment tumor along with cranial vertebral extension in future i will be speaking about how i did the surgery we have done the surgery and the histopathologic report came to be shown so today topic is long segment cervical spine shown and this is this is very 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 rare literature says three segment four segment tumor are all very common and literature says upper cervical spine tumor is very rare and literature says both upper and lower cervical spine tumor along with cranial vertebral junction is very very rare so unfortunately we got such a case and the histopathology report came to be schwann what is this schwann schwann ma is a benign tumor it usually arises from the sensory nerve roots of the spine it can be a cervical spine it can be a lumbar spine it can be at the sacrococcygeal level and it can be at the dorsal spine level and more commonly it usually happens in the lumbar and cervical roots now our tumor is at the cervical spine the tumor usually has many types and it's a benign tumor so it is not cancerous so for the surgeon always the benign tumor success rate is good histopathologically this tumor is differentiated into many types like the location wise intrapyel tumor intradural tumor extradural tumor dumbbell shaped tumor these are all the classifications but here what we are seeing is a long segment cervical spine tumor which is intradural and intrapyel involving multiple sensory roots all right now going to the surgical part how did i approach it usually a short segment tumor which is anteriorly placed it can be done by anterior cervical root by doing exposing the anterior cervical spine 
doing a carpectomy doing discectomy and during duratomy we will get the tumor intraduratomy we will get the tumor and slowly decompress it and release it from the anterior nerve roots before that i wanted to say the spinal cord has anteriorly a nerve root which is motor and posteriorly the posterior nerve root which is sensory so for one level one nerve root comes out so here it is seven level and eight nerve roots comes out so we have c8 nerve roots so eight nerve roots come out it's very challenging to go from the anterior root. it is it is nearly impossible you cannot do all the level carpectomy all the level discectomy and so most of the surgery is approached from the posterior aspect and posterior challenging part is already the tumor has compressed to the spinal cord like a paper now once you open the dura following multiple level laminectomy and once you open the dura it is a challenging part now how do i approach this case so i did laminectomy from c1 to c7 apart from that i also did an extension that is suboccipital cranial right so the tumor is some way going near the medulla if i cannot remove the tumor then suddenly there can be uh, devastating improperity in ones like tonsil or hernia so given all this i did already suboccipital craniotomy so that little bit of tension has got decreased the next i went ahead for fixation why during surgical removal during laminectomy there will be multiple manipulations of the cervical spine so that itself already a compromised spinal cord can get more compromised and develop ischemia develop damage these are all possible things. so i went ahead for fixation first following fixation then i did a laminectomy then duratomy so dura has been opened and now we are, you are seeing the spinal cord so behind now i have to retract the spinal cord so each level i did retraction of the spinal cord and then went inside between the both the root both the posterior sensory roots decompressed the tumor at all the levels which took me at around 5 hours to decompress the tumor and then then i went below near the motor root and each motor root has been identified and then decompressed further i went from below to above once i was nearing the cd junction and gradually since the tumor has got decompressed nicely the cd junction part has means with the decompression it the tension got decreased and slowly 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 gradually it descended and came to us very easily by around 7 hours of time this surgery has got completed i used now monitoring technology to protect the other three limbs already held is compromised left upper limb is compromised so uh, to prevent the other limbs so i did the uh, neuro monitoring intraoperative monitoring and successfully the tumor removed spine fixed and then post operative the patient was extubated and was doing well and it took several days course the patient was discharged we got the report as well Thank you very much. Bengal Faith Hospital, Baba Bhatt Shastho Nagori, Bortomar.